Hey, hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Ginger Fox here. And we are going to get into some Desire in the Coral. This is, I think this is the last chapter of this book. As the London season nears its end, attend the grand boss, a care ally, to ensure your inheritance. Alright, let's get into this, guys. I have to turn the audio on, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I'll turn it on. Above. At Sinclair Townhouse. Wait, hold on. Making sure that my mic oh, yeah, my mic is on, just making sure. Sorry for this. You and Briar stand at his door set his nose is a gap as he stares at you. But Claire, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the at Edgewater? Or the Duke's Ball? The Duke's Ball? Is that tonight? It is indeed, I would consider it the lead for it. But please come inside, I'm happy to postpone my departure. Who will you have a long journey? Mrs. Sinclair ushers you inside to the parlor. He looks you all my concern then you must a say smile. Your kindness is most appreciated, sir. I'm sorry to keep you from the Duke's ball. I assure you the intrusion is most welcome. But I'm still lost as to why we are here. Canada's Herita has overrun my own townhouse. She changed the locks. We had to sneak in through the back to discover what happened. She tried to have my father's will thrown in by Bishop Monroe. I was hoping to catch her before she met with him. I had nowhere else to go and thought perhaps she could help us out. You must understand. Between the rumors running among and the Countess plans, the number of people I can rely on grows smaller by the minute. I just so happened to be one of them. Only a short time ago, I don't think you ever would have admitted to that. No, but it's astonishing how some opinions change with a new perspective. You and your lady's maid are most welcome to stay as long as needed to return to your towns. Briar's jaw drops as she looks around the parlor. She grabs her arm with his lap. You know, this place is so fancy. I think I might buy both your towns. I hope the servants will be as nice. My butler will prepare some spare rooms for you. Please let me know how I can make your stay more comfortable. While I prefer to avoid it, I can no longer delay the evening. I must be out for the spot. Perhaps you should attend as well, Lady Claire. It's the last big event of the season, and Bishop Monroe should be there. You can speak to him about the will. Yes, this is my chance to finally follow the Countess's plans. I have to go. In that? You can't possibly. I don't have a choice here, Briar. It's not as if I can pop into my townhouse and retrieve something appropriate. I believe I can help with that. One moment. You and Briar both raise an eyebrow as Mrs. Sinclair walks out of the room. He returns shortly holding a navy and gold ball gown decorated with a sapphire brooch. Sir, this is stunning. But why do you have it? It was originally my mother's favorite dress the other day. I kept it after all this time. I think it will become you better than any woman than any other woman. Consider it yours, so you desire it. You would be the top of the town in that. It's even in the Edgewater colors. I think it's a sign. Fuck, I don't have enough. Uh, if only I had one more. Fuck. Damn it. Fuck it, whatever. The dress is lovely, but I will prove that I'm fit to be Kansas of Edgewater with my personality and time. It's not that bad. But it's so pretty in this hallway and the Kansas is. You just look at it. I think you will win enough to ally to fight the answer. What's the outfit? You know what? I can't believe you have done it. Shit. I only have one more. I'm so curious why I did it. I only have one more.
just turn immediately as you enter the crowded ballroom. You notice them there to excitedly whisper in their various groups. Why do I get the feeling they're all talking to me? Don't pay them any attention. By the night's end, I'm sure they'll say only good things to do. You can to look around and notice the bishop on board and down the alone nearby. He's by himself. Now's my chance. You take a few steps forward towards him, but Countess Harita wathers over and blocks the path, her lips curl into a snare. Lady Claire, how pleasant for you to attend. I hope you're enjoying your evening. Countess Harita crosses her arms and looks you over from head to toe. I'm rather surprised you're here. I thought things might have buried barred to you from attending. Like changing the locks in my tenures. One could never be too careful. There could be vandals and misfits following it. But don't worry about that. You should enjoy your last social event with those above you. Before you're back on the streets where you belong. Tells her Rita raises her glass of port to you, then joins another group of party guests. I do wonder how my father put up with her for so many years. In my experience, having a large state helps. You can be in opposite wings and rarely be forced to interact. Just then you fought Prince Hammond and you bring his wife to the crowd to you. I don't know how I'm going to take my eyes off you tonight. Prince Hammond laughs heartily to the jury. I would apologize, but it is an honor to be an distraction for such a beautiful woman. The laugh fades from Prince Hammond's face, replaced with a concerned look. I only wish I had better news to hear. Prince Hammond sighs and glances at Candace Harita tackles with Miss Bowman and Crockett. Candace Harita has been speaking ill of you the entire night. She claimed your father was in of sound mind when he declared you his heir. Why can't she not accept that Edgewater would not fall to her son? I must stop her before she damages my reputation and my father's reputation any further. If only that were all, my lady, Bishop Monroe is also here to discern the truth. He's speaking to anyone who knew the Earl of Life, so he can't validate the man. I... It does not matter what tricks the can of to play, he will soon return to my son. The confidence is the most refreshing. If you want to convince Bishop of Earl of Kings or Rita's ill intentions, you'll need to gain allies around the ball before he speaks with them. I'm sure guests would also align themselves with you if you were to showcase your accomplishments. If you want, there's someone I can officially introduce you to. I believe you briefly interact with my friend, Mr. Tino Beautiful. Indeed, the two of us have met in one than a handful of times. Did you know he's a barrister as well? It's given him quite some insight about the inner workings of London society. I'm sure he could offer you advice on how to convince others to be your allies. Hold on guys, I'm gonna stop this here and make a part two. BRB. <laughs>